hi guys i welcome you back to digital assets and in today's video we'll be checking out on how to move your pie since you have been migrated or uh, if you have already do your kyc so pie cutting will ask you to sign one document under inside pie hub so doing this during that time they will ask you to input your fast freeze so that you'll be able to do what to move your pi from uh from pi up into your pi wallet so for your pi up into your pi wallet after you have do that after once you move that pi so they will ask you to do what to wait for two weeks so for your coin to drop as you can see this person here it's so just drop on one seven and it gets like two or uh, two section per year which which one is which is the lock one and your lock one the lock one is the one that you lock up inside the pie hub so which is lock up portion that is under the pie hub but this one which is unlock is the remaining percent that you didn't lock so which means if you lock 100 percent inside pie hub so you won't have anything to spend for now until that lockable the one that you lock is unlock again so i think you understand so if you lock up 100 percent you won't have anything to spend for now which means you have to wait till that lock up that's ended but if you didn't lock up everything like if you lock up like maybe 90 percent 80 percent 50 percent and so on like that so you have two things which is the lock one and the lock one so let's assume you use 90 percent as your pie for your pie so let's assume you move uh you lock 90 percent and the remaining 10 percent it will be available for you to do what to spend during this minute so if you are um as you can see this person here you may be wondering that or your pie is very much that you didn't get all your pie inside your pie wallet uh, you don't have to be scared the reason is that pie cutting just release which one which is we call the, uh, the one that you hear by yourself which is called verified balance if i'm not mistaken i think it's also verified or verified balance so they will only help you to move the the one that you hear by yourself so the one that you hear through your security circle or through referral that one it has not been moved to this wallet so they keep that one for future which means they only move the one that you hear by yourself so they, they only move the one that you hear by yourself so once you sign that document although i supposed to show you but i have not do kyc once i do kyc and you have not do your own so i will show you how to do that so once you sign up but if any of you have already do us, have already do KYC, you already know what I'm talking about. So once you have do your KYC and you sign that document that you want to move your pie for your pie app to your pie browser, and once you sign the document, they will ask you to input your first phrase. Once you confirm your first phrase and it is very correct, then they will help you. you have to. They will help you to move your pie. They will help you to move your pie from pie app into your pie browser. So after moving down your pie, you will now have to wait for two weeks. So after those two weeks, so you will now be able to do uh, to move that pie again for your pie wallet into your available balance because as you can see available balance uh this person got three uh, that is four point fifty four pie entirely inside his pie wallet. But in the available balance, you only get zero which means it does move it does not move any of his pie so if you want to move your pie the reason why you are seeing this 384 is that this is the one the person that had by himself not the referral one the referral one that you refer uh, if you refer someone so if you have pie through that person they will not release that one for now they didn't release that one for now so they only release the one which is the one that you have by yourself so they only release that for now so the reason why they do that is that they want to make this thing to be scarce so they want to make make it to be scarce that's why we are telling you people that you should value your pie so don't sell your pie for cheap and 
in the next video i will tell you about pyrus because if you are not careful they will buy your account for 100 years so they will buy your account for 100 years so i think you get me they will buy your account for 100 years if you are not careful so make sure that you are careful in anything you do in pi so once you once you have moved uh once you have this balance in your wallet so and you have waited for that two weeks after that two weeks they will ask you to move it from this uh from they will have you to move this lockable one to your so that it will appear in your available balance so the only one that you will be able to spend is the one that is inside your available balance so it is only the one that is inside your available balance so once you have it then you can now do what buy anything from where you like with your pie without using any money so without wasting much of our time let me show you the video now to move your pie into your available balance so this is the video here let me rewind the video so as you can see this person here got 384 and the available balance is zero so once this person click on migration now you will see what will happen so if i forward the video a little as you can see under this migration here so under this migration once you click on migration you will see move and this one you have lock is because you have set up um you have set up lock up inside pi hub so that is the reason why they lock this one and the one that you hand through your referral it has not been sent to your wallet so they they didn't release that for now they owe this but they only release the one that you earn by yourself and between that the one that you earn by yourself so if you do lock up they will help you to lock up the one that you do lock up for as you can see this one it will be unlocked after 29 for 2025 so this person will be spending only 37 pi which is unlockable one so once you click on migration you click on then you click on move just tap on move then click on confirm once you click on confirm then click on dismiss and your your wallet will load again then you will now see it in your available balance as you can see here 37 pi so it has now been moved to available balance so it is just only 37 pi that will now be uh, uh you now spend see the one that you lock up will be unlockable again so which means what these people are trying to tell us is that pi is very very valuable pi is not something that you, you just spend lavishly so pi is money so make sure that you use your pie to buy something and don't sell your pie for money so because pie itself is a money so and you cannot expect uh you cannot sell money to buy money it's impossible so very soon pie Cutting will release some marketplace that they will be selling stuff that you, where you can buy something like phone laptop everything like that if you want to buy clothes you can use your pie anywhere so in our next video i will tell you pi um i will tell you the rules and regulation of pi because if you are not careful they can buy your accounts so make sure you are careful anytime you are using your pie and make sure that you are not getting scammed don't let people scam you for your pie and make sure you value your pie very well so don't spend your pie lavishly make sure you spend it wisely so once you finish your pie you are on your own so in our next video we'll be talking about the rules and regulation of pi because if you did it careful they will buy your accounts for other years as i said earlier so make sure you know what you are doing if you have not subscribed don't forget to do so and if you have already subscribed don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that anytime i post the video you will be able you will be the first person to receive the notification and watch my tutorial so if you are already subscribed make sure that you share with others as well and don't forget to like the video see you in the next one bye for now